tell me, Rudy, how are preparations going for the Rio Games, and uh, are, how are you going to be involved? Preparations for Rio have been uh, been going very well. I'm, I'm training to go to my fourth Paralympic Games uh, for swimming. And uh, so I, we, we, we're training every day, seven days a week. And uh, we're in the pool four hours a day, along with uh, two or three hours of recovery and preparation. So for me, it's a full-time job. But I tell people I'm living the dream. So uh, we have trials in two months. And then if all goes well, we will we'll see you in Rio in September. So you've overcome quite a bit in your life. What do you still have left to accomplish? And what is your message to young people as they try to find their place in the world today and, and different things that they may have to overcome? You know, for me, I'm, I'm training for my fourth Paralympic Games, uh, and, and I love every second of it. But I've, I've uh, found something that, to me, is much more important than just, just winning medals, uh, being able to be a, a mentor. Uh, and to, to, to younger athletes, especially challenge athletes, to, to be able to show them that you know, even if you have no legs, you can still set goals and, and, and reach for progress in, in, in any means, uh, whether it be in sports or in, in academics. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, to, play that, to play the role as a mentor has a huge responsibility, but I, I love to lead by, by example and, and show, show everyone that you know, the real disability is, 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 is not not having no legs, the real disability is, is having a negative attitude. So tell us a little bit about your partnership with City and how City is debuting this Stand for Progress, the program that explores how all of us, from world-class athletes just down to everyday Americans, can define progress, set goals for ourselves, and attempt to overcome obstacles. The City has partnered with Team USA uh, to, to, to show, show the Americans, the public, that um, if, if you guys want to as well, you can uh, set goals and, and, and reach for progress just like uh, us Paralympic athletes. You know, I think we all have a choice in the morning when we wake up uh, and, that, and we all have challenges. Like I said, some you can see and some you cannot. So I think uh, with, uh, with, with City uh, partnering with Team USA, we're able to show the world uh, that um, you, know, we, you also can set goals and, and reach for those goals uh, on an everyday basis as well. You know, City, uh, we have a, prog a program called Pathway to Progress, and I'm, I'm able to mentor uh, young, young college students as well. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a, a quite humbling experience, and um, yeah. Okay. Um, you were the world's first double above the knee amputee to compete in an Ironman triathlon in 2009. When you set out to do an Ironman, did people tell you that you couldn't do it? Uh, no, I, I did my first triathlon when I was uh, nine years old, and, and uh, I knew at that age that I, I, w I eventually wanted to do an Ironman. Uh, and so for me, I used to watch Ironman on TV and, and know that one day I, w I would try to be, I would give that a shot. Uh, my first, my first attempt on, on in Hawaii uh, for the Ironman, I, I ended up not making the bike cutoff. So I was on my bike for nine and a half hours, and I missed the cutoff by 15 minutes. Uh, so it was uh, quite a quite a defeating feeling, uh, but I I, um, I put put myself back together, and a month later I, I decided to go try out Ironman Arizona, and that's when I finished my first Ironman. Uh, it took me 16 hours and six minutes, but uh, uh, and I became the first double above knee amputee to finish one. And uh, for me, it's important to do to do those type of events so I can show these these young kids if if they want to do an Ironman one day, even with no legs, it's possible. So in some events in the games, Paralympic athletes are posting times and marks that almost rival their able-bodied Olympian counterparts. Are you amazed at the strength and progress of Paralympic athletes today? You know, uh, I, I've been called a, a certain term, superhuman, and I, I love this term because, uh, for one, uh, if I wanted to in the morning, I can wake up and make myself as tall as I want. Uh, and that, that also goes with, with different prosthetic legs that I can use, such as running legs or biking legs. So I, I believe in 10 years, the fastest man in the world will be a double amputee running on prosthetics. Uh, and what, is, what does that say? Uh, I think technology has uh, really enabled us to, to live a, a life, lifestyle without limitations, uh, especially from a young age. When I was growing up, the prosthetic legs that I had were very heavy. They, they, I could not run with them. Uh, and nowadays you have young kids who are getting running legs and, and are able to, 
chase their dreams from a very young age. So I think uh, technology has played a huge part, but also uh, just just the average American uh, understanding that um, we're we're not we're not just disabled athletes out here to uh, to uh, not only just inspire but also to motivate. And I think that's a, a powerful uh, powerful tool that uh, many Paralympians carry with them, and uh, to to be able to utilize that and and to show everybody what's possible. It's 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 awesome. Rudy, for people watching this video on our website, how can they get involved and how can they tell us about um, things that they were goals that they set and how, how they can go? As a Paralympic athlete, I always love hearing words of encouragement. And so for everyone uh, listening or watching, uh, you know, an easy way to reach out to City and, and myself is through social media. Uh, hashtag Stand for Progress. Uh, we, we love to hear what you are doing on your, on your road to progress and what you're doing on your road to your dreams. So uh, please reach out to us in those words of encouragement uh, because we all have good days and bad days. And when I hear some, something nice from you guys, it always, always uh, cheers me up. So. And who inspired you along the way? Is there, is there one person that you look at, a family member or an athlete, or who inspired you to get where you are today? Now, I would not be here today if it wasn't for my mom and my family uh, and my close friends and supporters who have always been there since day one. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, uh, automatically write me off when I'm in a race. They think, oh, he has no legs. There's no way he can win. But uh, when you have people who believe in you, uh, it, it, it makes things uh, it makes things a little easier. So uh, if it wasn't for my family and uh, and my close teammates around me uh, who who uh, who go through the same pain that I do, um, I, I wouldn't be able to be here. So uh, so yeah. Great. Well, thank you for being with us. All right. Thank you.